Right, up to program 8. Program number 8 through to program number 11 uh, have different facilities but uh, but they have the same sub menu. Okay, so if we just go, leave it on program 8, I won't show you what it's doing at the moment, we'll come back to that in a second. Program number 8, go into the sub menu, so press setup. The first one is SP, okay, which is speed. Uh, SP from 0, 01 to 99. Uh, currently at number 1. If we just take it down to 99, it starts changing at a faster rate, okay? And if you press setup again, it goes to FS. We've got the flash. So programs 8 to 11 have two sub options they are uh, speed and flash. Now, what's the difference between programs 8 to 11? Well, program number 8, as you can see in the background, or possibly see in the background, it changes the whole tube. Okay? So it goes through different colours. Uh, the whole tube. If we go to program number nine, uh, the program does a scroll. That's n number nine, okay? Program scrolls. It goes from one end of the tube to the other, changing the colours for each of the three sections of the tube. Uh, program number ten uh, is back to the whole tube, but this time it fades between the colours, okay? It, still do it doesn't have a fade setting because it's set. Okay, it has a speed and it has a, um, a, a colour change and it has a, um, a flash setting, just like I said, but it fades the whole tube. Okay, the actual colour fading itself is set. Okay, so it has a set pattern of colours that goes from one to the other. Okay, and uh, number 11, program 11, uh, is section change. Okay, it changes each part of the section of the tube again in a set colour order. Okay, you can't change the colours at all, it's all in the set colour uh, order, the seven colours. Right then, on to program number 12, let's go up to program number 12, there we go. Now, program number 12 is another section change you can see here, okay, it's currently fading though. It fades between the sections, as opposed to jumping between sections, blah, 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 it fades gradually, alright. Now, Let's have a look at the sub menus. This is where it starts to get interesting. Press setup. The first one, SP. Again, speed. Okay, it goes from 1 to 99. Next one, FS. Uh, again, it's the flash rate. You can set it to flash whilst it's changing the colours as well. Okay. Um, next one. Here's a new one for you CL. What do you think CL is? Yep, colour. You can change the colours from here onwards, okay? You can select the own co your colours that you want to change between, okay? This currently is set to colour 7, which is uh, white, i.e. all red, green, blue, one at once. So if we take it up to number 1, it's red, 2, green, 3, blue, 4, green, blue, 5 is green, red, 6, red, blue, 7, RGB, okay? So you got again, you've got the fixed 7 colours, um, but you've got seven colours, okay? Uh, and that does a fade between the sections, okay? So, right, if we press setup again from colour, it goes back to the program, and it's program 12, all right? Now, program number 13. 13, what does this do? Well, as you can probably tell, it's a, a runway type effect. Uh, we start off with one colour, it jumps to the bottom, and it scrolls through. Now, if you've got more than one tube, go them end to end, and it'll look as though the colours are actually going from one end of the tube to the other. A bit like the uh, Chauvet uh, uh, colour strips. Probably not as uh, as technically advanced as the colour strips um, because the colour strip has some really good program, um, programs built into the lights which I've actually gone out, watched them and DMX program for these. But anyway, uh, so that's uh, like a runway effect. Now let's go into the sub menus. Uh, press setup again, okay. First one is SP, well you know what that is already, speed. Next one, F, S, flash rate again. Next one, oh, what's that? It's not CL, it's C1. Colour 1, and C2. Colour 2, you can change two colours, because it has the two colours, it's jumping between colours here. Okay, so that's blue and red at the moment. And you can set those two colours to whatever you want. Uh, out of the seven set of colours, okay? So you could have white and green, or red and whatever, okay? <laughs> Whichever takes your fancy, you can change those two colours. However, 
you can't have the two colours the same okay so you can't have C1 at white and C2 at white because well it'd just be white you wouldn't be able to see a change would you fairly obvious when you think about it right okay let's move on my next crib sheet see I've got crib sheets here but I can't remember all this uh, right program 14 let's go back set up to get back to program 14 now okay so up to number 14 we go Number 14 is the whole light, okay, it fe the program 14 affects the whole tube, not individual sections but the whole, and it um, fades as you can see between uh, colours. Let's have a look at what's in the submenus. SP, FR, another new one, okay, fade rate, okay, that is the speed at which the colours will fade between the colours, okay. Uh, now it's again the seven set colours okay you can't select which colours uh, in this mode uh, which it fades between it does a set range of colours red, green, blue, yellow, purple whatever okay seven set colours uh, but you can change the speed at which they, uh, they fade okay using that fade rate again fade rate goes from 0 to 99 okay so you get quite a selection there okay right on to the next one so uh, let's go back out okay so that's program 14 program 15 program 15 is like program 14 but this time it fades between sections now i don't know here we go that's starting to go there then there and then the bottom yeah there we go uh it fades between sections okay uh as opposed to the whole light uh so slightly different effects the settings though are exactly the same so we've got speed and fade rate okay and then back to program. Right then, final program number 16. There we go. Now, program 16, as you can see, is fading between sections. You're probably going to guess that was going to be the one anyway. Um, but there we go, fades between sections. Again, the sub menus SP, fade rate. Oh, look, C1, C2. This time we can choose the colours that it fades between, alright? Uh, so you can go in and again, any of the seven set colours you can assign to uh, the colour one and colour two. Again, you can't have the same colour on both sections, okay? Otherwise it wouldn't look as though it's doing anything at all. And apart from that, why would you want to? So, there we go. Let's get that back, okay? Up we go, one more step, and it's back to zero. So there we go, there's a run through of... Um, the inbuilt modes within the uh, LED Mega Bar. I really like these lights. I've been using them a hell of a lot, and I've had a lot of good comments about them. So um, um, the guys at American DJ, you've done a really, really good job here, and uh, I think you'll be selling these for quite some time. Uh, if you haven't got any, do go out and see them if you uh, want to be impressed. They are really, really powerful lights. Um, they do f they fill a massive room here. Uh, I hope um, you've enjoyed this video, and I hope it's given you a a deeper insight into the uh, the versatility of these uh, American DJ Megabar LED lights. If you like them, get them. You won't be uh, disappointed. Brian, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's uh, opened your eyes to the flexibility of what these lights can do. I'm looking forward to seeing your video as well because I'm sure you've got a hell of a lot more ideas than me as well. Um, and that's what this is all about, sharing ideas and sharing them with the community. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Practice and enjoy.